Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. A quick vlog here to update you on exactly what's going on over the next week or so. I'm flying out to LA today. I'll give you the reasons in a moment. I'll be back on the 26th of January, so I expect to kick content back into gear on the 27th, as you might expect. Reason, at least the primary reason I'm heading out there, is the event on the 25th, that being a Friday. That is the Ultimate Empire Showdown. Now, this is actually going to be a live event hosted in LA. And you can actually turn up to it if you want. You have nothing better to do with your time. It is on Friday the 25th. And it is 4pm to 7pm PST. And the show is going to be starting at about 4pm. So you might want to be there a little bit earlier. It is at the Book Bindery. That is the Book Bindery. 8870 Washington Boulevard. Culver City, California. The zip code is 90232. So that's the book bindery, 8870 Washington Boulevard, Culver City, California, 90232. There's a map and everything on the Planetside Showdown page, which is planetside2.com slash ultimate-empire-showdown. We're going to be doing a little bit of a show, and of course then we'll be kicking the crap out of each other for a couple of hours. That's the plan anyway. The actual event, for those of you who can't turn up, is going to be streamed, and you can participate. It's going to be taking place on the Connery server, US. That is Connery US. So if you do wish to roll there and get involved in what is guaranteed to be one of the biggest fights Planetside has ever seen, then by all means, you have the ability to do so. I'll be there at the live event along with C-Nanas and the new Vanu leader level cap. And feel free to come on down and say hi if you happen to be in the area. So that's the main reason why I'm going to be there. There are a few other reasons I can't talk about. I wish I could, because they're all really, really awesome. But unfortunately, I have to keep them under wraps. But you should be seeing the fruits of that labor fairly soon, I would think. It's going to be good, one way or the other. One of these events is very much channel-related, so you should be seeing it on my channel at some point. Not sure when I'm allowed to release it. And then the other one is a collab with someone you're probably familiar with, but I haven't had the chance to work with before. And it is not video game-related, so that's pretty cool. And hopefully you'll be seeing that fairly soon. Now, while I'm out there, I'll also do a live Game Station podcast, so we'll be doing that from the TGS studio. We'll stream it live, as always, but we'll hopefully be doing it in person. That is most likely going to be on the Thursday, not the Wednesday. I'm having to bump it a little bit because of another event that I'm doing on the Wednesday. It's getting a little bit hectic, but that's why I'm out there. Every day I'm going to be extremely busy. So the live TGS podcast will probably air around the usual time, but it will be on the Thursday rather than the Wednesday and should hopefully be popping up on the TGS channel. As to who will be on it, I don't really know yet. I know Jessie will be. Dodger won't because she's out of town, so we'll have to replace her. But I'm sure we can find someone knocking around the TGS office that would be suitable for the show. It's always fun to do everything in person, so that should be a good laugh. As I said, I don't really know if I've got any other time to do any of the TGS-related stuff. If I can fit it in, then I will, but it is a very busy few days. What that also means is that Content Patch will probably end up taking a back seat. You won't find one today because I simply didn't have the time. I was trying to prepare content for you, so I made five videos for while I'm away, not including this vlog. That's two parts of Am I Evil, the Dungeon Land playthrough with Jesse, Dodger, and Jenna. That probably won't be a regular thing, just a little mini-series for you because it's hilarious. And I also did two Dota videos and a WTF is on Bleed, so you'll be expecting to see those over the next few days. If I can do Content Batch, I will do Content Batch. I just can't promise it because it's a fairly time-consuming show and I have a lot of engagements while I'm out in LA, so I don't really have much downtime. Unfortunately, since that show does take a lot of time, and it's also one of the lowest grossing shows on the channel, it does tend to take a back seat. I have to prioritize what makes the channel successful within my existing series. As much as I do want to keep Content Patch rolling five days a week, there are times when that simply cannot happen, and we don't really have replacement staff for that. You know, the company consists of three people, so if I am out there with the missus on a business trip, there's not really a lot that I can actually do. The good news for those of you wanting regular channel content is that February is looking pretty clear as regards to the calendar, so I expect to be home most of the time in February, if not all of the time. We've got our usual sort of TGS podcast scheduled and really nothing else. March is probably going to be the one where we have issues because there are a number of tournaments which I may be commentating at, as well as PAX East. At least at PAX East, you're going to be getting a bunch of content because it's PAX. You know how we do that. Hopefully, we'll even be doing our panel there, which would be really great. 
but just something to certainly consider there. That's unfortunately the reality of the business that we're in. I have to go to these events to keep our profile up to make sure that we can get the connections and the contacts that we need in order to get the games that you actually want to see on the channel as early as you want to see them on the channel. So that's something that we need to do as a business. So as much as I'd like to sit at home every single day just plowing out the video content, making these contacts in the long term is beneficial for everybody, including you guys. So hopefully you understand that. There's not really a huge amount else to talk about, but I would just like to quickly mention the Dota content. And the reason is that some people have been saying, well, why is there so much Dota content on the channel? If I'm totally honest, it's mostly filler. And the reason is that January is not very good for games. As you can see, there's been... A distinct lack of WTF is, and really, I've covered almost every new game that's popped up on Steam, and there just haven't actually been that many of them. If you look at the release dates, for instance, the first page, the first page goes all the way back to December, and that's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 titles, one of which is a piece of software. Yeah? So if you look at it, you got Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. What can I do about that? Nothing, because it's Baldur's Gate. I'm not going to do a WTF as a Baldur's Gate. Don't be bloody ridiculous. Euro Truck Simulator 2, no, that's already a massive freaking bandwagon. I can't provide anything of value there. 10 million, which I did. Field Runners 2, which is an iOS port. Journey Down Chapter 1, which is a point and click, which I might do. Droid Assault, did that. Primal Fears, did that. Angelica Weaver, which is some freaking detective puzzle game. Sacred 2 Gold, which is about five years old. And then You Need a Budget 4, which is actually a piece of software. So overall, there's really not been that much that I can do on that. And the games that we've been getting have been sort of few and far between. We haven't been able to get any major titles this month. I am looking into Strike Suit Zero. I want to do that once I get back from LA. Also, Devil May Cry, that is definitely coming. I want to spend a few days with it and get to grips with it, and then I'll give you my impressions of the PC port. It's not like I can do it on the 25th anyway, because I'm still going to be in LA at that point. And we'll probably do a little bit more Dungeon Land, which is coming out now on January the 29th, but... And that's pretty much what you're getting in January in a nutshell. It's unfortunate. So I need to do something to fill the time and make sure we have content. If you follow the channel for a while, you probably realize that whenever I get into a game in a big way, I generally do some videos on it one way or the other. Like Tribes was a good example of that. League of Legends was another example of that. Planet Side is another example of that. So it does happen every now and again. It's just kind of the nature of it being a variety gaming channel that's sort of driven by the things that I like. And if it wasn't driven by the things that I like, I probably wouldn't make as many good videos. So I feel that would drag the quality of the channel down. I understand that some people don't like it. You know, it's, it's doing all right for itself. It's definitely not one of our more popular series. WTF is still is. And as you're well aware, if I can make WTF is, I will. Obviously. Why wouldn't I? I mean, look at the views. It's obvious as to why I would do that, because they get a hell of a lot of views. Double, sometimes even triple what Content Patch does. So... That's what I aim to do most of the time, but there are instances where it simply doesn't work out and some of the games that I get sent are just really not up to the standard where they'd interest people. I mean, we're talking about very obscure titles that are really not very good and as a result, what's the point in even showing them? I, that's the weird thing about the series, isn't it? We could do WTF is every single day. No problem at all if we just kind of lowered the standards of the games that appear on there. I like to prioritize Steam because I like to view it as sort of a live demo, so it's a bit of a buyer's guide for you. So if something pops up on Steam, naturally you want to know what it's all about, right? So that is my priority. If it pops up on a random website and isn't available on any of the major retailers, then it's less interesting unless it happens to be a really awesome game. Something like Super Wagon Adventure, for instance, is an amazing game. Yeah, it's super fun, really, really great. And it's only available on Desura as well as direct from the website. That's worth promoting. That's worth having a look at. But there's other stuff that pops up that is just not. So I suppose it's whether or not I just want to saturate the channel with that kind of content and just lower the standards of games that are on there, or whether I just want to wait until stuff that's actually genuinely interesting, even if it ends up being bad, pops up on Steam or Gamersgate that I can actually tackle. So in a nutshell, that's how I decide what goes on the channel. And Dota's there because it's good at filling time and people seem to be fairly interested in the actual game itself. It's getting pretty decent numbers, so I would expect most likely less of that in February because there are way more games scheduled to come out. So there will be more WTFs in February than there is Dota. 
which is probably fine, but the Delta series certainly won't stop. It'll just become less and less frequent, or it'll become an additional item to what I usually put on. I generally shoot for two videos a day, sometimes three. It really depends. Any more than that, and honestly, it just becomes too ridiculous. There's no way people actually have the time for it. So... That's the gist of it. That's what's going on at the moment. I like to ramble when it comes to this vlog. I get a little bit too meta at times, but hey, I will see you hopefully on the Game Station podcast live as well as at the Ultimate Empire Showdown if you happen to show up in person. And then I will be back to regular schedule hopefully come the 27th, 28th of this month. So thank you very much, folks, for watching, and I will see you next time.